How's it going, y'all? Back with a new damn video. It is week one of the 2024 NFL season. Football is back, baby, and especially the damn birds are back. That's what's most important. We go into this game week one on a Friday night in damn Brazil. I'm a little upset by it, considering that, you know, I have to work, but hopefully I get out early or I can get out by halftime, finish the rest of the game. But I will be watching, for sure. Um... Going into this game, you know, there's a lot of people, man, we're just going to do this. We're just, we're just going to blow them out. We're going to do that blah, 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 versus the Green Bay Packers. I don't think so. I'll be honest with you and hate to be the downer, you know, bad news or whatever. We could definitely win this game for sure. It's an NFL game. You know, it's not like the reversing the Chiefs right away or the Baltimore Ray, you know, whoever, you know, one of these top, top teams, the 49ers. I'll be like, oh, God, these cats again, man, a dog fight week one in Brazil. Look, I will say this. A home game would have been great. Uh, hell, I would have liked to even play in Lambeau. And that's not me dissing Green Bay or their fans or saying they don't have a home field advantage. They definitely do. But having to travel to Brazil, you know, and all sort of stuff. But Green Bay has to as well. So I feel both teams are going to be a little sloppy in the beginning. That's just my personal opinion. We can see what happens. Um, but the overall, for the Eagles, this is the thing. For the Packers, right, this is what I said to somebody. If I was a guy who – if I wasn't if I, if I wasn't an Eagles fan – if I was not a diehard Eagles fan, and I was a betting guy, I, I'm, I'm a betting guy, but not against the Eagles, I would put a little bit of money, money on the Packers. Just like, hey, let's try this. I think the Eagles are going to win, but let's try. Because I look at it this way. The Green Bay Packers started out last year, a little up and down, and they went on this great run, on a fire run at the end of the year. you know. And Jordan Love came to his own and was looking phenomenal. The kids' ultimate ta- like crazy talented and I knew that going back in that draft I liked him a lot and then he went to Green Bay sat and I remember he played a couple games and I said man he's not who I thought he was even though he got the sat for a year or two but he came to his own he's learned and um they won that run you remember and they went to the playoffs they versed the, the Cowboys and I said man they don't have a shot against Dallas I was like Dallas is gonna win this game and then they're gonna verse the 49ers and hopefully they have to root for the 49ers even though I didn't want to root for them you had the deal Green Packers blew the doors off them guys. Couldn't believe it. They went on a late season run. They're one of the youngest teams in the whole NFL. And they have momentum. And they have no pressure. They have no pressure. They have no pressure. They're still being said, hey, you know, it's a young team. They did it last year. They're going to keep the developing. And now they have a new defensive coordinator. First time calling plays. He comes from Boston College. Yada, 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 yada. Where for the Eagles side of the ball, it's, hey, there's still hella hype because of, in 2022, you guys made the Super Bowl, right? Last year, we went in as Super Bowl favorites, us 49ers, Chiefs, and someone else. But it was really like, hey, you know, Hurts is better than Purdy, so the Eagles had that advantage. This and that, blah, 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 blah. blah. We start out 10-1, and one, right? We had the best record, but I don't feel like we were the best team. I felt if we could have somehow put it all together, we could have been. Because we were winning games we shouldn't have. We are winning games, leaking out wins, which we didn't do. But you get the whole deal. And we just collapsed near the end. Completely collapsed. Okay? Now we got that hype going into this offseason with people wanting Sirianni fired. They want this fired. They want that fired. They bring in all new coordinators. They clean complete house. They bring in Kellen Moore's offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator Vic Mangio. They they get him from Miami, or he steps down. Next day we get him. It was a little fishy situation, whatever. Kellen Moore, we get him. Seriani stays as head coach. We were all like, is he going to stay? Is he not going to stay? What's the deal? Is Bill Belichick going to come in? Is, you know, this guy or that guy, Mike Rabel? Like, we didn't know what was going to happen. So he stays, Seriani. But he's still in the hot seat. And I know he kind of feels that way. I could tell... He, I just know he does. I know there's no way he sits at home at night thinking, I have a great job, and, you know, no doubt about it. Like, if we got to a slow start, and say we lose this game, and then we lose the next one, or even we start like 2-4 and four or something, 2-5, and five, I feel they already like Kellen Moore a lot to be head coach. That's so much I think they like him. I'm, I'll be honest with you. They already interviewed him before in 2020. That's a whole other story. But So I get on to, to the hype of last year, right? And then we collapse near the end, and everyone has questions about everything. Is Hurts still the franchise quarterback, even though they just paid him that two hundred whatever million dollar contract? You know, is AJ Brown like being here? Got it out, even though he had to go on the radio and defend himself. There's so many questions. And what do they throw into that fire? They go and grab Saquon freaking Barkley. They sign Saquon Barkley, one of the best backs in the NFL, 
and he'll be in his best situation he's ever been in in his whole career, maybe even his whole career in general, college, anything. His whole time playing football, this is probably his best situation in terms of two of the best the best receiving core, you could say, in the NFL with Brown and Smith, and now Jahan Dotson's at it, Dow Scotter, he's there, great O-line. So you add that to the fire of already the hype and what's the question marks on the team. Okay, scratch, that's one thing. Okay, now you lose Jason Kelsey. And for Watson, man, Lugia is tough, man. You know, he's a great center, one of the greatest of all time. You're losing him is tough as hell. You know, he's getting replaced with Cam Jurgens. But then we come to find out he controlled a lot of what the game was going on. He controlled a lot of the line of scrimmage, almost all of it. Now we got a new guy at center, and Hurts has to take over that responsibility of controlling stuff and certain plays, protect whatever it might be from the line of scrimmage. So you're asking a guy who, and I think Hurts was hurt hurt last year. He got hurt at one point. I believe it. I truly 100,000% believe he was. He didn't look the same. He he was running sloppy, running sluggish, didn't look fast enough. I feel he was hurt. He's come back from that, all this drama, all this catch, and now he has to try to learn all these things. And we have a short window to start winning. Like, we, we got to win a Super Bowl or something. Not this year, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? And yet, Barkley to the mix. So on top of all that... It's going to be how the Eagles, how do they respond coming off of last year? The way they went out looking last year was terrible. Them losses were awful. It wasn't like we played great opponents, you know, and we lost the games close or whatever. We got blown up by the 49ers, blown up by Dallas, and then we had a game where we are we blowing out, for example, on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, the Arizona Cardinals, and somehow just choked the whole lead up. It was awful. The whole thing was the Giants blowing us out at the end of the year, us losing to Tampa in the playoffs, blowout, blowouts. It was bad. Now we have to see with the this is the question mark for the Eagles. Do they come out? Do they? St- how's the relationship with the team? Is the team back together? Are they gelling? Are they feeling good? Also, the question mark is: Is that in the back of their mind last season, or do they come out back of the season is completely flushed out of their minds? Everything's good, and they just go off like it's a brand new season. They're not thinking of nothing, and they start balling out. Do they go into this like they did 2022 where they thought of nothing? They didn't think of the hype. There was nothing around it. And we just went in and boom, 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 boom. We'll see. I feel either way. The travel to Brazil, on top of all the other stuff I just said, on top of pre- in preseason, we played no starters on offense. Nobody on offense. Really, we didn't. Other teams did. Green Packers, I think it was their first preseason game. They already had Jordan Love out there throwing balls. The freaking defending Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, had Mahomes out there, Kelsey out there, multiple other guys out there. Like, what the hell are we doing? But you get what I mean. So the rust of not playing guys in preseason, new center, questions of is last year still lingering on them or not? It all comes into play into this. And that's what worries me. Not just this game, but... A couple games after. The head coach is going to be shitting his pants if he loses this game. Nick Sarriotti knows his job's like on the line, dude. Like, I can argue there's never been an Eagles coach in history handed this much talent offensively. Defensively, there's question marks there for me. Defensive line, you lose Fletcher Cox due to retirement. Yeah, he wasn't the best where he was, but he was a vet. So now it's taken over by Jalen Carter. It's taken over by um, Jordan, uh, Jordan Davis. But Jordan Davis, I loved a lot as a draft pick, and I still think he can be great, but he hasn't shown us nothing. Jaden Carter, I think he'd be special. He can be one of the best in the league. He can be the next Aaron Donald. He can be the next whatever. Next Fletcher Cox, whatever. Still got Brandon Graham, and Bryce Huff, you uh, Bruce uh, Bryce Huff. You lose damn uh Hassan Reddick, you trade him away, but and the, the secondary's young, but that's defensively. But overall team wise, do they come out flat? Do they Think too much into last year. Do the hype get? Does the hype get to them? The Packers come in with not that much. Really, they don't. They think of, hey, we're going off last year. So, hey, we're the youngest team in the league. We're getting credit here and there. But, you know, we're just going to go out and play ball. And that's what worries me a little bit. I, we can win this game. Of course we can. One of the most talented teams in the league. We should win this goddamn game. We should. But we'll see what happens. Go, bros, follow, follow. You guys comment below on your thoughts. How do you guys feel? What do you think is going to happen? And the fact that we have to go to Brazil for this shit is, like, even more pissing me off. Like, of course we have to do this. Like, I would have liked to have been an easier opponent. Or even, like, Cleveland Browns. They're not easy, but it's an AFC team. You know, you lose, it's whatever. It's not right away messing with seeding in the conference and whatnot. So, I don't know. But go Birds, Fox, I'm excited for Friday. Can't wait. I hope they go out there and just light it up, man. I have so many questions coming off of last year and how 
piss poor that ending was, how tragic it was. It was sad. It still weighs on my mind. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe how the season even started, how we were even in that spot. But go birds, fires, fly, compliment your thoughts. Like I said, once again, I said it like three or four times. Let's go birds, man. I hope they pull it out come Friday night. Football's back, baby. Football's back. That's all I got to say. And hey, not trying to be Debbie Downer. Whatever happens this week doesn't matter. There's 17 more. <laughs> go birds.